welcome back guys and this is our new air base right next to our military base so we just got this airport made i said last episode we, we were gonna get it made but it just took a while and so we're just about done getting all of our air fleet over here we have four or five huey helicopters down here some cargo helicopters we also have two really cool coast guard planes one of the older ones and one i think brand new brand new one so here is the air controller station this is so cool this is where everybody's gonna control coming in right now we don't have any planes unfortunately so i guess we aren't really gonna be using the runway which would be awesome but just right now we have helicopters so all right we're getting this guy fired up i'm gonna head over to the base and we'll see what's going on over there they also made a new helipad so when you guys i want to show you guys that we made some improvements and i think they're actually working on some bunkers today for the soldiers so here we go we're heading over the gates open okay what is the gate doing open but they have a new here let me get really high up so you guys can see they have a new air uh helipad right there that we can land on so that way we don't have to land on this parking garage and this is kind of meant for the uh bringing in like higher ranks and officers so we're gonna land over here what's nice about having this is we don't make a dust storm because usually when we land on the sand and the dirt it's uh it's a mess so this helps kind of like lower some of that there we go and we're down we're down looks good looks good i need to get some of these helicopters up and out of here over to the air base but we got these put up recently and that way we can store some of our equipment some of our vehicles and it's it's pretty strong too <laughs> they're a lot stronger than our old shed so i'm gonna start putting some of these helicopters getting these engines fired up here they take a little bit to get going not gonna lie and then over there they built some bunkers we had some bunkers built one right there and then i think they're putting up more today closer to the to the barracks or the tents so that if we ever have some raid on the base or some aerial attack then we can uh there's ventilation too so it's pretty strong when it uh could take some beating so i think they're gonna put some more closer to the tents all right there we go and we're coming up and over yeah like i said i want to get some really cool planes in here but huge shout out to lambo and a lot of other modders who were, were able to make these mods a lot of these are public a lot of people obviously they're just public for pc there aren't at least i don't believe there's any out for console right now that i know of but if you're on PC, almost almost like all of these are public, I think. Maybe some Lambos just aren't yet. But 90% of what you see is public. And a lot of this is old stuff from Lambo, which which would be public by now. So if you guys are just search modhub, fs19mods.com, and just scroll through the homepage, you're going to find like five or ten of these helicopters. Now, to fly some of these, you do need a controller. And it's a little wonky on the controls. But like I said, most of these are public. A bunch of people are asking, like, where do I get these helicopters and stuff? They are they are public so you can search them just literally search helicopter fs19 mods um on google and they they should come up all right there we go we got some bunkers built here for the soldiers in case like i said if there was any like ever attack they can just run here real quick a little bit stronger than let's just say their little uh their little tents these fall fall apart pretty quickly just held up there they're pretty much just circus tents so at least they can come in here for a bit if we ever have a raid all right so check it out guys we got a new truck and a low loader this thing this thing is a beast way better than our oshkosh and then this low loader is actually can actually turn the other one has like six seven axles so when you turn it's just like bending the axles and and you like can't turn the truck li is literally spinning so this is this is absolutely perfect you got a nice little spare tire right there and a beast of a ramp so i'm actually on my way to go pick up a few tanks a few humvees and we will uh we gotta run down the interstate that's always fun we take up like two lanes a bunch of people stare at us but i'm gonna try and see if they'll let me go through the gate here there we go they opened it up for us perfect and we'll head uh it's about 30 minute drive it's not too bad and they there's a little military depot that's holding a lot of our equipment and just because we're like building this base it takes a bit of time to get the equipment down and that's that's my job so we're heading down now this trailer should be perfect there's actually supports i'm trying to show you guys in the back here they you put down these supports so that when you load something up it doesn't like obviously the tanks are very heavy like it doesn't destroy the trailer and put a bunch of weight on the back there's kind of like supports to keep it so there we go we're almost in town and, and we're by the coast too so we should fly over the water i think at the end of the day i'll be able to go on a on a training flight and i'll be able to go over the water so that would be pretty cool to see i wonder i wonder exactly what what we are picking out i'm not too sure i know there's a tank there might be another humvee too but we'll just have to see once we get there all right so i'm just pulling out of the depot now and they loaded me up with the the m1a1 and they they did a pretty good job this is i was a little worried they were they were wanting to put the m1a1 on the way that it is slide it all the way up lift the cannon and then put a humvee on sideways and i was like no 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 okay, if you guys really want me to come get it like i'll come another time because like i'm not uh that's pretty sketchy in my opinion and his tanks are already super heavy and i didn't want to worry about like a humvee on the back about to fall off and literally smash somebody like tailgating me or something so we're just taking the tank we'll get back there and then it is getting kind of lighter 
here. So I need to get my flight started. So it's not too bad of a deal. And we're just 10 minutes away. So that'll be fun. We'll go over the ocean. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll fire the old machine gun into the water. That'd be pretty cool. All right. So I'm just getting to the base now. Dude, that gate. Oh my goodness. Somebody tried to get in through here. What would be really funny is if they, uh, if they had these down and then somebody's come flying, flying up and they can like pop them up really quick and just totally destroy the car. But nobody is getting in this thing. That's so cool. But they opened it for us and we're in. So cool, cool, cool. We'll get the tank. I'm not sure exactly where boss wants me to put it, but we'll, we'll get it somewhere. All right. He said he wants it in shed number one, I think is what he said. So we'll put it over there. It looks like there's quite a bit of space anyway, too. So we will be good to go. And I need to get to a helicopter and I need to get my flight hours in. I'm, I'm supposed to get 10 hours in a week and I need to I need to fly for at least two hours today to get that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll put away the truck and then I'm going to take my favorite bird right there. All right, the sun is going it's almost it's almost down we probably only have 30 minutes of of daylight flight time but i do need to go in the dark too to get some more of those training hours so i think we're all locked and loaded the guns are loaded too so i'm probably gonna go over the water i'm not supposed to do this and i'm gonna fire the mini guns i have two gatling guns on the side there we go we're lifting off all right all right all right we're looking good and do a flyover of the air base because we really don't have to worry that much because we don't have airplanes right now nobody's in the control or there might be somebody in the control center but typically we would have a lot more people when we're bringing in planes and stuff so let's see how low can we go this airfield has been graded it's totally flat so i don't have to i can get pretty low and not have to worry about like any obstructions or anything there we go right over the trees let's see it oh we just missed that all right let's get over this creek bank right here watch out for the trees there we go try and fly in this creek bed stay nice and low for practice there we go that way nobody could detect me on radar and you can hide pretty good if you go in here and obviously there's no trees in a creek bed there we go stay low oh this is tough all right last minute pull up pull up there we go and there's the water i might flow fly over the town too but sometimes people don't like that oh there's a shipwreck oh look at that i want to circle around that that's pretty cool check out this shipwreck it's up on the boat i've never seen this before i think this is kind of new it honestly looks pretty old but the boat could have just been kind of old check that out pretty sick should we fire the guns on it no i'm kidding i'm kidding I'm, but i'm gonna kind of get over here a ways where there, there's nobody at and i'm gonna fire the guns all right here we go i'm gonna point them down three two one oh that's sick we just emptied out a big round here i'm gonna spray it one more time away from everybody that's cool that's so cool okay we better fly back all right, enough horsing around. It's getting pretty dark. All right, we'll see. We'll see how close we can get to the trees here out in the dark. I got my spotlight on. For the palm trees, there's some pretty tall ones out here. All of a sudden, they sneak up on you. And the grade is upsloping away from the ocean. So once you get further and further away, you, you got to kind of pick it up. There we go. We're going right through the creek, right up and over these trees. There we go, guys. Pretty sick. I love this airplane. Or the, the helicopter and we'll get this landed. And then I think I'll be done for the day. There we go. Just about to touch down. This helicopter over here, we broke its landing gear. Somebody came down just too hard, killed the engines, and uh, it, yeah, it's not good. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next one.